Welcome back to our monthly review of books. Let us begin our list with our top recommendation in the nonfiction category. Of Time and Turtles, Mending the World, Shell by Shattered Shell is a literary gem that effortlessly blends science, memoir, and philosophy an engaging and heartwarming journey into the world of turtles. Written by the acclaimed naturalist Cy Montgomery, this book is a captivating exploration of our long-lived cohabitants, turtles, and the profound lessons they hold for us. In this beautifully crafted work, Cy Montgomery not only introduces us to the wondrous world of turtles but also offers us profound insights into the nature of time, healing, and the enduring connection between humans and the natural world. Of Time and Turtles is a literary masterpiece that will leave you with a renewed sense of wonder and a deeper appreciation for the miracles of the natural world. So, dive into this enchanting narrative and discover the wisdom of turtles as they navigate the currents of time and healing, one shell at a time. In our memoir category, While You Were Out, An Intimate Family Portrait of Mental Illness in an Era of Silence by Meg Kissinger is a searing memoir that not only unveils the deeply personal struggles of one family besieged by mental illness but also serves as an incisive exploration of the systems that failed them. In this deeply personal account, Kissinger takes us on a journey through the tumultuous landscape of her family's life, marked by the pervasive presence of mental illness. With eight children and two loving parents, the Kissinger family radiated warmth and energy. However, beneath this facade of joy and exuberance, their lives were overshadowed by the weight of mental illness. Mother heavily medicated for anxiety and depression, father prone to manic episodes and violence, and children grappling with bipolar disorder and depression. Tragically, two of the children would eventually take their own lives. Despite these immense challenges, the Kissingers adhered to an unspoken family rule, never talk about it. Kissinger masterfully delves into how their childhood tragedies propelled her into a journalism career dedicated to exposing the flaws in our country's mental health care system. This memoir seamlessly blends the raw intimacy of personal reflection with the investigative rigor of journalistic reporting. It is a powerful and candid account that will leave you deeply moved and inspired to foster a more compassionate and understanding world. In the biography genre, you'd love reading Elon Musk. The acclaimed biographer Walter Isaacson offers an astonishingly intimate glimpse into the life of one of the most captivating and controversial innovators of our time. With a track record that includes best-selling biographies of figures like Steve Jobs, Isaacson brings his expert storytelling prowess to the story of Elon Musk a rule-breaking visionary who has left an indelible mark on the worlds of electric vehicles, private space exploration, artificial intelligence, and even social media. Isaacson's narrative skillfully unravels the complex layers of Musk's personality, portraying him as a tough yet vulnerable man-child. Musk's character is marked by abrupt mood swings, an astonishing tolerance for risk, a penchant for drama, and an unwavering sense of mission. His intensity, at times callous and destructive, is juxtaposed with his undeniable genius. As the book unfolds, we witness Musk's incredible achievements in the early years of the 2020s. SpaceX launches an impressive 31 rockets into orbit, Tesla becomes a major player in the automotive industry, and Musk ascends to the position of the world's wealthiest individual. Yet, even in the midst of these remarkable accomplishments, Musk reflects ruefully on his tendency to stir up drama and crisis a mindset that has defined much of his life. Whether you admire Musk's accomplishments or question his methods, this book offers a captivating journey through the life and mind of a modern-day visionary. For those who love suspense thriller novels, we have Bright Young Women by Jessica Knoll, a gripping and haunting novel that takes inspiration from a chilling chapter in American crime history. Set against the backdrop of the late 1970s, the book weaves together the stories of two remarkable women whose lives are forever altered by a serial killer's reign of terror and their relentless quest for justice. In January 1978, the vibrant young women of a prestigious sorority at Florida State University in Tallahassee are far removed from a serial killer terrorizing women across the Pacific Northwest. Awakened by an eerie sound at 3 a.m., Pamela Schumacher, the sorority's president, discovers a scene of unimaginable violence, two of her sisters dead, and two others grievously injured. On the other side of the country, Tina Cannon has finally found solace in Seattle after enduring years of hardship. Fate intervenes when she crosses paths with Ruth Wachowski, a 25-year-old woman harboring her own painful secrets. Their instant connection sets the stage for a bond that will be tested when Ruth mysteriously vanishes from Lake Sammamish State Park in broad daylight, surrounded by a multitude of beachgoers on a seemingly idyllic summer day. Jessica Knoll's masterful storytelling and keen exploration of the resilience of the human spirit make bright young women a gripping and thought-provoking read. The book is an engrossing blend of suspense, mystery, and the enduring strength of the women who refuse to be mere victims in their own narratives. Okay, now for our pick in the historical fiction section. The River We Remember by William Kent Kruger is a mesmerizing standalone novel that takes readers on a gripping journey to a small Minnesota town in 1958, where the murder of a prominent citizen sets off a chain reaction of events that unearth old grievances and hidden secrets. Kruger, the New York Times best-selling author of This Tender Land, once again showcases his storytelling prowess in this atmospheric and profound tale. 
On Memorial Day, as the tight-knit community of Jewel, Minnesota gathers to pay tribute to the sons lost in past wars, the shocking discovery of wealthy landowner Jimmy Quinn's half-clothed body floating in the Alabaster River sends shockwaves through the town. Quinn has met a violent end, a shotgun blast claiming his life. The responsibility of solving this heinous crime falls to Sheriff Brody Dern, a war hero whose scars from his military service, both physical and emotional, still haunt him. Even before Dern can obtain the autopsy results, malicious rumors begin to circulate, implicating Noah Bluestone a Native American World War II veteran who has recently returned to Jewel with his Japanese wife. As suspicions and accusations escalate, the town teeters on the brink of further violence, and Dern is faced with the daunting task of uncovering the truth behind Quinn's murder while grappling with his own inner demons. This novel is a testament to Kruger's ability to capture the essence of a bygone era and infuse it with authenticity and depth. It's a must-read for fans of mystery and historical fiction alike. The Breakaway by Jennifer Weiner is our selection in the literary fiction section, a heartwarming and thought-provoking novel that delves deep into the complexities of love, self-acceptance, and the enduring impact of our pasts. With wit and sensitivity, Weiner crafts a narrative that is as relatable as it is engrossing, offering readers a compelling story of one woman's journey to find her true self. At 33, Abby Stern might not have the conventional markers of success a career and a pristine apartment, but she's found a happy place in her life. She embraces her plus-size body, cherishes her friendships, and revels in her love for cycling as part of a bicycling club in Philadelphia. Abby is even on the cusp of marrying Mark Medoff, her childhood summer sweetheart, who she met at a weight-loss camp her mother insisted she attend. It seems like she's on the path to the happily ever after she's always dreamed of. An unexpected opportunity arises for Abby to lead a cycling trip from NYC to Niagara Falls. She seizes it as a chance to gain some clarity and make a decision about her future. However, the journey quickly becomes more complicated than she anticipated. Over the course of two weeks and more than 700 miles, the strangers on the trip become friends, hidden truths surface, and a teenage girl with a secret brings the riders together in unexpected ways. Abby is forced to confront her deeply held beliefs about herself, her mother, and the nature of love. Jennifer Weiner's storytelling prowess shines through in The Breakaway. She skillfully navigates the complexities of Abby's journey, exploring themes of body image, self-worth, and the enduring impact of family dynamics. The Breakaway is a journey worth taking, filled with laughter, tears, and moments of profound insight. And now for our pick on romantic comedy. Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score is a sizzling contemporary romance that masterfully combines the elements of enemies to lovers, secrets, and second chances into a compelling and emotionally charged narrative. The story centers around Sloan Walton, a determined small-town librarian, and Lucian Rollins, a driven mogul with a thirst for vengeance. Their tumultuous relationship begins with a shared secret from their past, and despite their mutual dislike for each other, there's an undeniable spark that keeps pulling them together. As the story unfolds, old threats resurface, forcing Lucian to confront the reality that he can't protect Sloan from a distance. The emotional stakes are raised, and readers are taken on a roller coaster ride of tension, passion, and, ultimately, redemption. A story that will make you swoon, laugh, and shed a tear or two as you root for Sloan and Lucian to find their happiness against all odds. If you're a fan of contemporary romance with well-developed characters and a rich emotional journey, this book is for you. The September House by Carissa Orlando is a masterful blend of horror, mystery, dark comedy, supernatural thriller, domestic suspense, and psychological thriller. A Victorian house with an inexplicably reasonable price tag, a place that holds the promise of a dream home for Margaret and her husband, Hal. However, their excitement turns to terror when they discover the house's haunting secrets. Like clockwork, every September, the walls drip with blood, former inhabitants return as restless spirits, and an ominous presence lurks in the basement. Most people would run for their lives, but not Margaret. This is her house, and she refuses to abandon it. As the hauntings intensify with each passing year, Hal reaches his breaking point and abruptly leaves, leaving Margaret to contend with the malevolent forces on her own. Their daughter, Catherine, unaware of the house's gruesome history, arrives to search for her missing father, unknowingly stepping into a nightmare. The timing couldn't be worse, as September has just begun, and the house's dark secrets are determined to stay hidden. The house itself becomes a character in the story, with its bleeding walls, ghostly apparitions, and malevolent tricks. Carissa Orlando paints a vivid and eerie portrait of a house filled with a history of death and terror, where every room holds a new nightmare waiting to be uncovered. Margaret, the resilient mid-fifties protagonist, stands out as a compelling character, determined to confront the horrors lurking within her beloved home. Her daughter Catherine's arrival adds an additional layer of tension and mystery to the narrative, as she navigates the truth about her father's disappearance and the sinister forces at play. As the story unfolds, readers are drawn deeper into the mysteries of the September house. Carissa Orlando masterfully builds suspense and fear, keeping readers on the edge of their seats as the haunting secrets are revealed. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your near and dear. Kindly hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Any feedback is welcome. I will see you soon with our list of October books. See you until then.
Thanks for watching.